Hey, how are we doing everyone? Welcome to the Bearded Medic. This video is for those of you who are thinking about how to strategically apply for medical schools based on your UCAT score. For this video, we'll be looking at some of the universities that place a larger emphasis on your UCAT score compared to other universities. So it's best to have a high UCAT score. But what are we classing this high UCAT score on? The previous UCAT test statistics, focusing on 2017 to 2019. Here we can see that in 2017, the average score was 635, 2018 was 622, and 2019 was 621. Overall, this averages out to around 626. This places anyone with this score around the fifth decile for most years. In general, a score of 680 or more can be classed as a high score, but scores of 700 or more can be classed as a very high and competitive score for UCAT heavy universities. Achieving a score like this will place you in and around the 8th or 9th decile based on previous years. So now we know what scores we're thinking of, let's have a look at the universities, in no particular order. This information will be based on freely available information from universities and some based on contact with the universities themselves. Regardless of what resources you use, the most reliable information comes from contacting the universities themselves, just to be sure. So make sure you do that if you have university specific questions. Also bear in mind that your UCAT score must work in conjunction with other requirements from each med school. First up we have Newcastle, who are renowned for the heavy weight they place on the UCAT. They even state that invitation to interview will be based on your UCAT score. The first stage of their admissions process is screening you for if you meet their academic requirements. If not, you just reject it outright. If you do, then they screen based on your UCAT. The threshold in 2018 stood at 645, 2019 at 680, and for 2020 at 682.5. Based on this, we can safely speculate that a score of around 700 makes you highly competitive for Newcastle. Bart's placed a 50-50 weight for both UCAS tariff and UCAT. Here are some of the statistics they released for 2019 entry. As you can clearly see, the higher your UCAT score, the better and it can be also used to counter weaker academic scores. So BARTS is a great option for those of you who have weaker academic stats but a high UCAT score, and even better if you have strong academics. Bristol state on their website that academics are considered before UCAT scores. If your academics meet their minimum requirements, then their decision is solely based on your UCAT score. For 2019 entry, applicants with a score of 682.5 and above were invited for interview. This means we can safely say that a high UCAT score now forms a major part of their selection criteria, which is a big contrast as Bristol used to be a high personal statement university. Bristol is a great indicator to show that entry requirements for medicine can change year on year for universities. Manchester first screen applicants using their academic requirements and after that, it stated on their website that if you place in the top three deciles with a band one and two, you will likely be invited for interview. Seeing as in 2019 this meant a score of around 655 and above, a higher UCAT score would mean a higher chance for interview. King's College London are also very similar to Manchester in this regard. They state that out of all KCL applicants, those that rank in the top 30% based on their UCAT are usually invited for interview. And despite them also considering academics, they state that your exam performance and UCAT are the most important indicators. So a higher UCAT score is advised. Edinburgh have something called a selection day. To be invited to the selection day, you're assessed by your academics and by your UCAT score and SJT banding. To get an offer at Edinburgh, they state on their admissions document that the selection day is weighted at 50%, your academic score at 25%, your UCAT score at 17.5% and your SJT banding at 7.5%. Bear in mind that Edinburgh place all applicants in octiles based on their UCAT score, then give you a score based on what octile you're in. Therefore, the higher your UCAT score on SJT banding, the more likely you are to be invited to the selection day and also get an offer. Finally, we have Nottingham. They use a combination of GCSEs and UCAT to give you a score. GCSEs count for 16 points of the 56 available, and the rest is the UCAT. They score you for the score you got for each subtest. For example, if you got 513 verbal reasoning, you'd get a score of 6. Your situational judgment band is also scored, with 4 being awarded for band 1. 
They state on their website that interviews are offered to the top percentage of candidates based on their final score. So if you have a higher UCAT, you stand to have a considerably boosted score. So they are the main universities you need to be aware of if you've got a higher UCAT score. All links will be in the description. If you come across any others in your research, be sure to leave them in the comments. If you need any guidance, be sure to leave questions in the comments or get in contact on Instagram. Remember to like and share to other people if you found this useful so others can benefit. And be sure to subscribe to support the making of future videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.